Hello! Back to school week! So this whole week I just have, it's called Bleep Week in my district. It's pretty much just a bunch of trainings right now um, with hopefully information about what's to come next week when school starts pretty much. So I've been in a bunch of um, Teams meetings. We use Microsoft Teams instead of like Zoom or anything like that and we're just getting like, it was like nothing for like two hours and then it was just bombarded with information of pacing guides and weekly schedules that we'll be editing and sending to families and oh we need to upload that to our team's page and I'm like oh my gosh that was a lot of information for 10 minutes so I'm pretty much sitting at my desk look at it kind of a mess um sitting at my desk going through a whole bunch of trainings um that are not making anything more clear but just making me more anxious honestly <laughs> but it's Monday so I'll check in in a little bit Try to give you some updates, but I have a bun I have a four hours of just like work time this afternoon, which is nice. So I'll probably be working on some copies for material pickup that's happening at the end of this week, and maybe just some other information about with my team about what maybe try to dig into some of these pacing guides I don't yet understand. So just checking in for Monday. I might check in again later, but I'm going to try to make this a weekly vlog of kind of like my back to school trainings. Okay. Okay. Hi. Happy Tuesday. Sorry if there's a glare on my glasses. I'm. Day two of training and I'm already running late for being at school, which I guess is kind of the benefit of working from home. But I'm heading to school. I did not check in yesterday much because honestly, um, honestly, I felt kind of frustrated and overwhelmed. I mean, go figure. Yesterday was our longest chunk of like individual work time. Um, we had four hours in the afternoon that we could use as we wanted. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's several other times throughout the week where we have three hours of work time in one chunk, but yesterday was our biggest chunk. So the morning was all training. The afternoon was our individual time, and then the morning was all district training and meeting as a building on Teams, which is our Zoom. Um, so we, and we have a new principal and vice principal this year who seem great, but it's like just a weird time to be meeting them online. And we then had district trainings, which were so overwhelming and so, <laughs> fast and furious and this overview of what was expected and there was no time for questions because we had to get through all these trainings Oops. and it was just so much information <laughs> it was like they had this whole online program that they were releasing that afternoon so they didn't release it till 3 p.m. yesterday so like pretty much through our, our work day ends at 4 so not a chance to dig into it too deeply but an online resource that has all these different you know pacing guides and these curriculum maps for like what's essential during our distance learning time for the first few units of everything like reading writing math um, for each grade level which was great I just haven't had a chance to look at them because they didn't get released till tomorrow afternoon so we heard about these at like 10 a.m. And then didn't get them to like three in the afternoon and honestly it's hard to make heads or tails of them they also have like these lesson plan templates pretty much for like students who miss live instruction because we're hopefully expected to do three like reading writing and math live instruction like in mini lesson blocks each day except for like Wednesdays so like four days a week I guess um, but look we have these lesson plans that we're supposed to fill out in case a student misses it so that they can refer to it and know what they need to do and it's like it's pretty much like a lesson plan document and it's like a first grader can't read that and it just doesn't really make sense for first grade and it was just kind of overwhelming <laughs> it was a lot um so i left yesterday feeling kind of frustrated i felt like i didn't make a good use of my four hours of individual time mostly because i didn't really know what was key i mean i worked with my teammate a little bit we started to gather some materials still for this material pickup that we are like prepping tomorrow for friday but it just felt like Okay, I'm just getting these little bits of information and I have questions about it and I'm not sure what the, you know, is this required? Is this just an option? <laughs> Do parents already know about this? Things like that. So it was very frustrating. It was frustrating. I'm in a lot better mood today and I feel like I can dig in this morning. I have an hour this morning to myself of work time that I'm going to dig into some of these more documents. And I think I have a better idea of like what I want to provide for the first two weeks because honestly, it's not that um, because I just don't think... I mean, we'll be lucky if we get ever to 20 minutes of whole group paying attention to me first grade, honestly. I mean, that's the goal in regular school, and I think it's going to be even more challenging virtually. Um, and then I have a few meetings with the principal today because we still have some scheduling problems. And 
yeah, so I'll try to check in more today. I'm in a better mood today, so I didn't really want to be on camera and be like, man, everything stinks. I have no clue about anything. I should know more. But yeah, I'll check in later. Hi. It's Wednesday afternoon. Apparently I can't check in more than once a day, but I'm still at school. It's like 4.30ish. Um, I'm currently just working on we ran all of our copies for the first two weeks of school to like put into bags for the Friday pickup and I'm just kind of working on sorting them into like an easy way for families to kind of look at like I'm putting like by subject area and then binder clipping by uh, you know if it's for week one or week two um so I'm working on that it's been a busy day like a lot of copies today um and both of the and everyone was here because the older grades fifth and fourth grade had like their packet pickup day today so a lot more people were in the building, which made me feel like I kind of had to hide out a little bit more in my room with a mask on. But, um, and then of course, both of our copiers broke. And so I still don't have everything ran at all, but it was good. I, we got most of everything ran and we kind of have at least sort of a plan of what to do. I mean, we're not really digging into any curriculum the first two weeks because our first week is only four days because we start on a Tuesday and then our next week is the week after Labor Day. So that's also only four days. So we kind of have a a vision of what we need to do but um there still could be changes honestly so it was hard to plan what to print and prep and not like waste too much paper but also like okay but what if I want to do that so we're it, it's good it's mostly outlined I think next week will be pretty straightforward because it's just morning meetings and first I was under the impression that they needed to be an hour-long morning meetings to like make connections with kids and I was like a six-year-old can't sit on a meeting for an hour but I think I got some clarification about how long it can be. I think it could be 20 minutes or 30 minutes. So we're just going to do like, you know, practicing like muting and unmuting, saying hi, our name, and then probably reading a story. So it'll be easier than I think, which is nice. Not easier than I think, but it won't be trying to keep them engaged for an hour right away. The second week though, we dig right into curriculum or right into like our full live model. So I'm still trying to figure out that. So for our full live model, we have a 20 minute morning meeting, um, a 20 minute reading mini lesson and then practice of 20. I don't know. I'll explain it later. I'll show you it on a picture because honestly it could still change. So I don't want to explain it yet, but we're live for pretty much reading, writing, math, a mini lesson. And then they're supposed to go off and be able to practice something like without me being there, I think. <laughs> and then we have a morning meeting and then an afternoon, like checkout, like end of the day thing. Um, so I'm going to leave pretty soon. I'm going to finish like putting these into the piles and then I might go put them in the bags now or I might just have them kind of ready to go because I still have some more copies to run because the copy machine broke. Um, but it's been a good day. I have, my nerves are kind of starting to get to me a little bit about what this will look like and hearing from some families about like, oh, what they did last year and things like that. It's like, I'm still just not sure how this is all supposed to look. How is like the differentiation supposed to look and when am I required to be live and when am I required to do small groups? Like there's just still a lot unclear that I don't think has been decided, you know, way above me. So yeah, but this will probably be my own check-in. Maybe all this will only be a daily check-in, but I'm still working. I'll give you a quick overview of what everything looks like on my desk right now and then I'll sign off for the day. Okay, this is my desk. So we have, I'm working on week two stuff right now. So like for the first week, since we're just doing morning meetings, pretty much all we're doing is like a fun packet that kids can have the option to do if they want. And it just has like word searches and stuff in it. Um, other than that, like my team just kind of pulled together. We basically sat and dug through our back to school files and they put together and pieced together the things that we want to use, what could be easy to do virtually and what could get them used to, you know, the different things that are go being sent home. So stuff like that. Um, we helped us decide. So here's a look at it. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Well, hi, here I am again. It's Thursday, Thursday afternoon. Um, I'm finally starting to feel a little bit like I'm organized. So my um, bags for pickup are all full of stuff like for the first two weeks of school. So that's great. The laptops are starting to be distributed. We're still missing some math materials, but it's okay because I've planned for all these other like outside of my math curriculum things for the first two weeks, so I don't need that. I've kind of, I've penciled out every day a little, so I'm feeling pretty okay. I mean, there's still a lot of unknowns, like I'm not, I've had all this training on our Microsoft Teams, like how to set it up for kids, but it's just not very first grade friendly, so I'm just not sure how that'll look yet. Um, and I'm not really, <laughs> <laughs> I can't quite picture yet. Like I, I know my schedule, my master schedule, but I don't know yet. Will, will, would it be easier for the first few weeks just to stay kind of live all the time? So for like office hours, kids can hop in and check with me 
how much parent support will there be? It's just all these questions about that I won't really know the answer to until we kind of hop into it. But um, right now my Microsoft Teams is kind of my biggest concern because I just don't feel like it's very easily nav navigate, not very easy to navigate for first graders without me somehow doing like videos or screen grabs or I don't even know yet. But I'll cross that bridge later. But my materials are ready, so I'll show you those. And then I'll also show you... Um, just a little bit of what I've been working on today. So we have a ton of stuff already in bags and they're out in like a common area, so I'm not gonna show them to you. But that has like the laptop, that has like a whiteboard, whiteboard markers, a Sharpie, um, erasers. It just has a, like a general amount of school supplies. But the papers that I chose to prep are some of these. So a lot for, there's just a very few for the first week. So the first week is four days and we're only required to do our morning meetings. So. And I don't know how long those will go, maybe 20 minutes, maybe an hour, because then the rest of the afternoon is spent with, like, family connections. So this is kind of just in case. So I have a first day jitters where we might just write, you know, on the first day I felt. <laughs> um, we have, like, a little get to know you thing. And this goes with um, our class as a family, um, which I don't have my copy here, so I can't remember the author. But I'm sure you've seen it on Instagram. And just kind of a back to school packet that they can do if they want in their free time <laughs> this week. That's all we're doing for the first week, which is crazy. We're going to do a lot of read-alouds, a lot of teaching of the different buttons online, a lot of getting to know your activities, a lot of movement breaks, stuff like that. The second week, we're expected to kind of be back into our full schedule. So I'm just kind of flip through this. Like, there's some things that go with books. Like, I can't, I already can. I want to bloom at. goes with Leo the Late Bloomer. Um, there's something for growth mindset. There's some really, like, easy sort of practice for math like a few pages each day is all we're gonna do for math some blank pages some handwriting it's all there I want to show you our master schedule though and I would love to hear your opinions of what you would do with it okay this is the only copy I have of it so just look at solution one because this is gonna be our schedule at least for the first week ignore this one this one was what it was before so we start off with a live morning meeting and then we have you know about half an hour of flex reading which hopefully will be a point where you know kids work independently on sight words or phonics stuff maybe like have a pre-recorded video where they're introduced to some things then there's some live reading which is only 20 minutes so i don't know what i'm gonna do at that time i eventually depending on where they're at i'd like to get to more like discussion comprehension but i imagine for the beginning of the year this will just be some more sight words some more phonics sounds things like that and then we have another little group of reading here, and that's for, I, th I think I'll use it for independent reading. Then we have some independent time where they'll go on Lexia. Then we have a recess. So that's pretty much our morning, and this matches what we do in person in, generally, in general, too. Um, I guess my question is, though, would it just be easier just to sit, like, be live here, but then just kind of keep it open if kids want to here and work with me? And then same thing here, like, be live here and everyone has to be there, but you're welcome to come join me if you need help to kind of set up the expectation eventually hopefully getting to small groups during this time like eventually that'll be where I meet with certain kids but for now here I am still available to you I don't know like is it better to teach more live online just so that they're there and around you and making sure that they're actually doing something than having like go off and in independent work time I feel like parents might prefer that especially if they're working I'm just not sure what would you prefer um and then I'll go through the rest of the schedule. That's pretty much my big question. But then we have a recess. We have a live writing mini lesson and then some writing time. We have a little bit of chunk here that, you know, could be handwriting, could be reading, could be get on Dreambox or Lexia. I don't know. We have lunch. Then right after lunch, we have a live math chunk. And then, you know, flex math, which is pretty much just, again, independent math time where maybe I'll be sitting live. Dreambox for sure for a chunk. Recess. Our specialist which is pre-recorded or asynchronous, so I don't know. And then we have an end of the day checkout. So yeah, that's our schedule right now. What would you do with those blocks? Hi, <laughs> it's Friday. Um, I just finished doing our materials pickup, which was really nice because I finally got to like see the kids, wave to the kids, talk to them and their parents a little bit. So whew, that felt good, especially after this morning's trainings, which were just... I mean, there's no other word for it. It felt awful. It felt just like we've had five days of trainings now with my district, and it just feels like information after information after information was being thrown at us, and it just didn't feel useful. It didn't feel pertinent. I mean, it'd be like, you know, for an assignment, it'd be like, wait, so I'm just hearing so much conflicting information since we're using, like, one program. So we're using Microsoft Teams, and, you know, I thought 
I had watched a shoot, short video we were required to before about like assigning an assignment, which I understood or thought I understood. And then it's like, okay, you have to upload like a PDF, but then kids can't edit it. I don't, I don't know, just a lot of information. So a lot of people were feeling very frustrated in our trainings today. And it felt like, okay, this whole week has kind of been a wash with trainings. Don't feel like I've really learned anything. I have a slight idea of where the district wants to go, but I don't know how as a first grade teacher, I'm going to go there yet. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, <laughs> we have... Honestly, it just made a world of difference to like see the kids. It just made me a little more excited and a little more honestly nervous for virtual learning. I'm prepping a little bit of like some stuff for we have family connection meetings next week next week in the afternoons to kind of get to know families a little bit. So like I just prepped like a paper with a whole bunch of questions that I kind of want to I don't know if I'll write notes. I don't know if I'll go through them formally. I just kind of want to make sure I hit all of these things when I talk to families next week like what are their expectations? What are some of the questions? Like, you know, what are their strengths or weaknesses of your child from kindergarten? You know, what worked well with our remote learning in the spring? What didn't work out well? What do you picture for this year? How much time can you give to your students each day? What would you prefer? And how do you think your child would learn best live or recorded? All kinds of questions like that. So I'm doing that. I'm also going to read. Usually I record myself reading like um, uh, the night before first grade and send it to families the night before first grade. But that book has a lot to do with like um, going to a physical building of school, like a half her day is when she's at school meeting friends and stuff like that. So I don't think I'm going to read that because I don't really want to refer to the fact that we're not in school too much. So I'm thinking I'm going to read Rim Wimberly Worried, which also has a lot to do with school, but might be a little more pertinent um, to, rec to and record myself so families have something to watch, you know, and we can talk about how we're all nervous for a different type of school start. And then, I honestly, that might be about it that I do for the rest of the day. I would like to, maybe this weekend, write out more of my, I have it very bulleted out what I'm doing for my morning meetings next week, but I would like to, like, script it out. I always, like, for the first few weeks of school, I almost over plan. Like, I love to script it out for the first few weeks and be like, stop here and model this. Hmm. I mean, you don't ever stick to the whole plan, but it's just nice to have it all pictured out in my mind. So I'm going to try to do that this weekend. I don't think I'll do that here. Um... But other than that, I'm pooped. It's only been a week of training. And honestly, I've had a lot of downtime where I've been able to like prep things or plan things or talk with my team. I feel warmed. I feel like how you feel on Friday of the first week of school when you actually have kids. I have a headache. I feel like I can go to bed for like 12 hours. I feel like I need a bottle of wine. <laughs> so I'm feeling very warmed. So I'm gonna record myself th with this, this reading Wimberly Worried. <sighs> And then I'm going to go, I think. But thanks for following along on this journey. I know it was just a lot of me talking and a lot of me explaining trainings and things that might not apply to all of you, depending on what your district's doing. But I took you along on my first week of training, and I'll really try hard to take you along on my first week of teaching as well. Next week, again, is just mostly me morning meetings and making connections with families. But I'll take you along. Okay, I'm signing off here. Bye. Thanks for watching.